What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod and I'm a full-time eBay and Poshmark seller and in today's video I got a brand new trip to the thrift video for you guys but before I get into today's video I just want to send my condolences to the family of Nipsey Hussle. Um, I didn't know Nipsey personally but this loss was just really really difficult for me and I could only imagine how, how it could be if I was like really close to him and his family so I just want to uh, dedicate this video and Probably every video I put out from now on, uh, I want to dedicate it to him because he died at the age of 33 and he was a artist, entrepreneur, uh, philanthropist. He was just really doing a lot of positive things within his community and he was a huge inspiration to me over these past couple of years. And like I said, this loss was really tough, but I just wanted to make sure I still put out some content for you guys so that you all can feel inspired and motivated to go out and do what you guys need to do for yourself and your family. So without any further ado, like I said, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle and let's get into today's video. All right, y'all, so as soon as I got to the thrift, I went immediately to the men's clothing section as usual and I ended up coming across this Pals and Larry dress shirt. And this is the first time I found a shirt from this brand. I actually sold a few blazers and I have some for sale currently in my uh, eBay store. But um, this is the first time I found a shirt, so I definitely was glad to just pick this one up, make sure everything was good, some pearl buttons, kept it moving. Next, right next to it was an E-Tone shirt, and E-Tone is a brand that I'm very familiar with. I've sold this shirt several times in the past, and it was not too far away from the Pals of Larry shirt, as you guys can see. So I had to scoop this one up as well, since there was zero flaws, made sure the buttons was all good, no chips, no flaws, and I had to throw this one in the pile with the rest of them. Next, I came across this Foot Joy golf polo shirt, and these Foot Joy shirts usually always sell well for me. It's just another staple brand that I like to pick up just to keep some constant cash flow because these usually do sell pretty fast. And as you guys can see, there's some minor deodorant stains on there, but nothing I couldn't get out. So I definitely still picked it up, and it was only, I think, uh, $4.99 for their short sleeve shirts. So I went ahead and scooped this one up as well. Next, I came across a Marmot jacket, and these Marmot jackets usually always sell well for me. I actually just sold a similar one in blue a couple weeks ago for 30 bucks, but as you guys can see, this one was pretty damaged. It had some snags, and there was some like, I don't know if the, if the zipper lining was tearing apart. I don't know what that was about, but I just had to pass on it because no time for that. Next is a Stormtech performance jacket, and this is the first time I came across this brand but it looked really really high quality it looked kind of like a almost like a patagonia cool type of jacket like you can tell it was really high quality so i went ahead and i decided to look over it really quickly one more time just to make sure it wasn't any flaws and then i was like okay let me go ahead and check the comps really quick and as soon as i started checking the comps i saw that it wasn't selling for that much uh certain ones had some more value but those had some like some type of different logo to them. Those were the ones that were selling for a little more money. So I just went ahead and left this one since this one was pretty simple. And jackets in the thrift for me sell for about $9. So I didn't want to chance it at nine bucks. Next is this Mac Studio London jacket. And these Mac Studio London jackets, I've seen other resellers pick these up. So I, that's what attracted me to it. So I wanted to look it over since I never saw one in the thrift before. And I thought the embroidery and the design was pretty dope. I figured somebody could appreciate it. So I decided to, of course, once again, look at the comps. But before I even check comps, I make sure the condition is good and check the comps. And I was noticing that only the new uh, brand new pieces were selling for decent profit. So once I realized that, I just decided to stop even wasting my time since this one was used. And I just put it back because I might be able to make 20 bucks, but who knows how long that would take. So I just left it. So after browsing through the racks, I realized that these were probably the only good dress shoes, uh, the only good shoes period that I had available to me. And these were pretty scuffed up, had some normal signs of wear, but for the most part, the leather was pretty scratched, but I knew I had some shoe cream in the crib, so I'd be able to just uh, buff these up and make them look more presentable. And since they're only in a boy's size, I'm pretty sure I'd get at least 
20 bucks for these and since these are only $3.99 I figured it was a no-brainer to just go ahead and pick these up next was a pair of echo uh, these are echo lights so these were even more comfortable than echo shoes usually are and pretty good condition as you guys can see some heel drag but nothing too crazy and like I said I have shoe cream at the house so I knew I'd be able to just get some of those scuffs from the front and some of the scuffs on the back I'd just be able to get those out and here's another pair of sneakers these are the New Balance Minimus and these shoes were pretty rough but overall still good condition just based on the bottom so I knew I can still get some decent money for these on eBay this is a pair of specialized S work cycling shoes and I picked up a pair of these shoes in the past and I actually got like a hundred bucks for those and those didn't even include the cleats on the bottom but these were in pretty rough condition but overall I'm pretty sure I can still get at least uh, 40 to 50 bucks so I went ahead and picked it up anyway now I tell you guys all the time to always check the women's section because some people like to hide men's clothing there and sometimes it's really men's clothing that the workers just put in the wrong spot so I ended up coming across this Armani skirt and after checking the comps I realized this brand doesn't sell for much so I went ahead and left it but some sure somebody would actually appreciate those and next to the skirt somewhere on the floor I ended up finding a pair of Reebok CrossFit sneakers and these were pretty beat up but I do know these still sell so I went ahead and picked it up anyway and then I saw a pair of Skechers shape ups with like sandals but these were a little too beat up too scuffed up but Skechers actually do sell so if you see them pick it up and here I am still in the women's section and this is a brand I never saw before but it looked pretty high quality so I went ahead and you know check made sure there was no flaws and once I saw it with an L I'm, I'm, in, I'm thinking Lululemon so of course I look it up and this skirt this brand is not strong whatsoever selling for like 10 bucks uh, this one was brand new sold for 20 so I was kind of over it at this point but I still wanted to just get familiar with the brand because you never know I might come across one that's worth something then I ended up finding the exact same one on eBay and it sold for nine dollars so I went ahead and left that alone next I came across this pair of I don't even know how to say the name but these were just a pair of pants for women and these were in really good condition I checked the comps too and these this brand sells for really good money these this brand sells for like 60 bucks so if you guys see this brand it, it has the size tag pick it up but as you can see these pants didn't have it so I went ahead and I left them and before I head out I always check the furniture section and this pair of sash shoes was actually just sitting on like a dresser drawer so I just went ahead and scooped these up too because they was only asking $3.99 for these so these were in really really good condition almost brand new so I had to grab those and as I was about to leave the store I checked the case one more time just to see if they put anything new and I came across some Anikis but they was asking a oh, way too much for these they was wanting with the price so I just went ahead and left those but then as I was on my way out one of the workers told me that hey we just got these shoes and we just put them in and I was in shock I never saw a pair of Dries Van Noten shoes in the thrift store before so I had to stick around do my research I made sure I looked at the logo a bunch of times I made sure I did as much research as I possibly can on Google uh, just using my phone so I can know how much I can like a possible price point so I knew I could get at least 200 bucks for these shoes so I figured taking a risk at uh, $59.99 would be well worth it and uh, right before I decided to dip out I said let me make sure I show everybody that I was really on my way out and this was literally just just good luck y'all quick recap just want to go over some of the pieces that I got from today's haul and this is just a simple black and red uh, foot joy golf polo and these golf polos usually sell for about 20 25 bucks for me on eBay and on Poshmark so it had some minor deodorant stains but I'll be able to get this one out once I throw it in the wash so uh, this one should sell fast next up is a dress shirt from the brand Pals Larry and Pals Larry is pretty expensive these shirts usually resell for about 30 bucks on average and I have a couple blazers that's listed now but it's been listed for quite a while but some of these brands uh, it's it's not highly sought after but when it does when the right buyer comes along it usually does sell for some good money so this might take a while for it to sell 
but I should get at least 30 to 35 bucks for this shirt. And next up is a shirt from the brand Etone, and Etone is a very, very high-end brand. These shirts usually do resell anywhere between like 35 to about 50 bucks for me, and this one was in amazing condition, practically brand new. So I'm gonna price this one maybe on the higher end, and we'll see how long it takes for this one to sell. Next, moving into the shoes is a pair of Echo uh, Echo Light leather shoes, and these were in really good condition. I just needed to throw some shoe cream on the front, so these should definitely sell somewhere between 40 to 45 bucks for me on eBay. Um, I usually don't list these type of stuff, these type of brands on Poshmark, because it takes a lot longer for it to sell on Poshmark but these should sell pretty fast on eBay. Next up is a pair of New Balance Minimus shoes and these shoes were in pretty rough condition but even in this condition I'll still get about 30 to 35 bucks for these so I'll put these up on eBay first and we'll see how long it takes for these to sell but I only got these for about five or six dollars so these should sell fast. Next we got a pair of Cole Haan Lunagrands and these were in Pretty rough condition when I first got them because they had some scuffs on the front. But as you guys can see, I just kind of buffed out the front and I put some shoe cream on there. So now these are looking really, really good, really, really clean now. And these were in a boy size 6. So hopefully these sell fast. And I put these up on Poshmark for only about 20 bucks since these are in a, a youth size. So I'm pretty sure they will sell fast. And um, I only paid $3.99 for these shoes. Next is a pair of sash shoes. I always sell sash shoes. They always sell pretty fast for me on eBay. And these were in really, really good condition. So these should sell on eBay for about 50 bucks. And as you guys can see from the video, I only paid $4 for these. And I didn't have to do any cleaning or anything to these. So these are pretty much good to go. And hopefully they sell fast. Next up is a pair of specialized S-Work cycling shoes. And these shoes were in pretty rough condition. Uh, I had to clean these up just a little bit to make sure that they were a lot more presentable but the good thing about these is the fact that they do have the cleats on the bottom and the cleats usually do sell about 10 to 15 bucks by itself so these should add some value to these shoes so I should probably would get somewhere between like 40 to 50 bucks for these shoes in this condition so I put these up on eBay already and we'll see how long it takes for these to sell and last but certainly not least is these shoes from the brand Dries Van Noten and these shoes are definitely very high-end very expensive um, these shoes in just plain leather sell for about 600 bucks so because these have more of like a lizard uh, print to it I'm not exactly sure how much to price these for I didn't even put them up on eBay or on Poshmark yet I'm still trying to find the exact model online so I can put the correct name and just make sure that I'm pricing it the right way so that's gonna take me a, a little while longer to post these with 60 bucks and then I got a 25% off coupon uh, because I donated an item to just get that coupon so I paid about uh, like $45 or something like that for these shoes so overall not a bad investment because I do know I'll get at least 200 to about 250 bucks profit on these shoes but like I said I definitely want to get the right uh, name and model of these shoes before I just list them up and potentially price them too high or just lose out on money and price them too low so um, definitely this was like the find of the day and the crazy thing is I usually this the, the small stuff that you guys see are more of like the, the staple pieces that I like to find and, and put them up on eBay and those are just the consistent stuff to just continue with some cash flow people call it bread and butter pieces but for me I just like to call them the staples that just sell on a consistent basis. And I was on my way out, as you guys can see, and I guess one of the workers literally just put these shoes up in the front case where they usually put more of their higher priced items. And as soon as they put them in, I asked to see them. And these shoes just, as soon as I, as soon as I saw the name, I knew it was worth it and I knew uh, they were 100% authentic because I've actually seen similar Dries Van Noten shoes. So I knew what to look for in terms of the stitching, in terms of the logo, in terms of like the stitching on the inside. I knew what to look for, so I know these are 100% authentic. So um, in case you guys come across any like higher end shoes, definitely do your research first because there are a lot of fakes out there. Um, I don't really have a video. I don't have a video on how to authenticate high end pieces, but I made a video on how to authenticate sneakers, which is something that you guys will probably come across a lot more often. So I'll put that up in the cards and in the description so you guys can check that out next. But um, that's all I got for today's haul. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.